Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My last video was my highlighter declutter and some bonus face palettes. I said in that that the next thing was definitely going to be my blushes. So I have a full box here of blushes. This is what that is looking like. Absolutely nobody needs that much blush. I am never going to be able to get through it all. So let's see if I can whittle it down a bit today. There's a couple of things jumping out at me straight away that I know I'm definitely keeping. These two... In fact, these three for a start, so these are all from the Colourpop Midnight Masquerade collections. This is about packaging as much as anything, but also the collection's really not that new. But because I've been on a beauty no-buy since that started in 2018 and ended up lasting for three years, and then I had my low-buy this year, the only kind of newer things in my collection are things that I've got as gifts in the past couple of years. So although this isn't a super new collection or a super recent collection, it's still some of the newer stuff in my collection and I absolutely adore the packaging so I'm definitely keeping those three. Also newer in my collection, I got this for Christmas last year. You can see the, the Christmas packaging on it. So this is a Dior blush, which I have absolutely never used because it's got an embossing on it. If you're a regular viewer, you know the chat about like everything's been in boxes for most of this year because of like the redecorating process. So I've never used it, but I'm going to use it, so we're keeping that one. And then the last two things that are sort of newish that I definitely want to keep. This NARS palette I bought when I went to Florida in 2019. So yes, things bought in 2019 do count as new in my collection, um, but I absolutely love this palette. Um, so I'm definitely keeping that. I got this for Christmas last year as well. So this is a little Clinique palette. So this is Nude Pop, Ginger Pop and Cola Pop. So it's kind of covering the sort of three main bases of blushes that I wear, which is like very nude blushes, peachy blushes, and then sort of statement deep blushes. Definitely keeping that. I feel like there's more, I really like blush. This is how we ended up in this situation. There's more jumping out at me that I'm like, I definitely want to keep that than I can look at and see that I definitely want to let go of, but I think maybe what I need to do is pull out what I definitely want to keep and then everything else is kind of negotiable as such after that. I'm just realising my nude blush from my Project Pan isn't here. I must have left it in my makeup bag. As with all the other declutters, because things are in boxes, this might not be everything, but it's the majority of it. But anyway, I'm going to definitely be keeping my project pan blushes anyway so that doesn't really matter. I definitely want to keep my hourglass blushes so that is one. Where's my other? Is that you? There? Yes. So I've got hourglass dim infusion which I'm keeping and then I've also got hourglass iridescent flash. This is a much brighter one. As with my eyeshadow palette declutter I will try and use this as an opportunity to get rid of boxes so let's take these things out of boxes boxes can can go boxes are a problem that just stops me using stuff although this one's got a, got a snowflake on it but ugh, maybe we'll keep the snowflake box but the other these two boxes can go my urban decay blushes i really like these i think these have been discontinued fetish and indecent that is what fetish looks like i actually got that after lisa eldridge used it in an elizabeth taylor makeup tutorial that I loved and then Indecent is just a beautiful sort of peachy shade. Definitely keeping those two. I want to keep, uh, this is my Becca blush. This is in the shade Hyacinth. Really, really bright, fun pink. I'm definitely keeping my Marc Jacobs blushes. These have been discontinued as well. So I have two of these. Um, one is, so this is Lines and Last Night, which is the sort of peachy one. And then I have got Flesh and Fantasy, which is more of a nude color keeping those two. This one I will keep uh, is from By Terry. They actually, I think, sold this as a face powder. It's the shade number seven, Sun Desire, which I just used as a blush. So I'm keeping that. I want to keep my Bobbi Brown Uber Beige Pot Rouge. So I got this after Sally Hughes had it used on her in a smoky eye tutorial. I think it was with Hannah Martin. It's not a recent video, but I really, really liked it. So I'm going to keep that. That is a cream blush, so I need to make more of an effort to try and use that because cream blushes do turn. Speaking of that, I'm going to get rid of these two. They're cream blushes from Illamasqua, so I've got Rude there, which I have a massive pan in, and I feel like I would probably repurchase this at some point. I absolutely love the shade, but I've had it for so long. It was in my first project pan in 2018 when I first went on a beauty no-buy, um, and it's a cream blush, so it definitely should as well expired. I mean, look at how 
old that is. It was not new when I put it in the project in 2018. Also got their cream blush in the shade Seduce, which again is very, very pretty, but we all know that creams turn quicker than powders, so I'm going to definitely get rid of those two. And do you know what? Following that logic, I'm going to get rid of this as well. It's, this is from the MAC Brook Shields um, collaboration and yeah, more cream blush, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of these as well. So this is the Benefit Fine One One. Um, and I did quite enjoy this to be honest, it's like a sort of Neapolitan, it was almost like a stamp, you would like stamp that onto your cheeks and drag it up so you had like the highlight and then these shades would sort of blend together. Um, and I did actually, I enjoyed the novelty of it but as we see cream blush definitely turns and same for this number 7 pop and glow cream blush stick. This is very very pretty but definitely will have gone off. We'll get rid of those two as well. Oh I want to keep this this is from Longcomb. This is like, I feel like my taste for blush are super bright or super neutral. Um, and this is the, the super bright variety. So definitely keeping that. I know I'm probably going to keep a couple of dupes here. But I feel like if I can weed out what I, I'm definitely happy to get rid of, then this year I can use what I keep a bit more and try and be a bit more sort of discriminating against which ones perform best in each colour family. Does that make sense? I love this palette actually. It's from e.l.f. so it's really inexpensive and it's got four blushes in it and they're all super super pigmented. It's great for travelling with and because it is inexpensive I'm not precious about it for travelling with it. Yeah I really like this palette actually. I feel like it's not like an absolute must-have the way that the other ones that I've pulled out are, so in that sense I'm a bit like, well that kind of means you're ready to part with it. But I feel like it, it is such a good one for travelling. Not that we've done very much travelling in the last few years, but should the should the need arise. Right, I'll maybe put this in like a maybe pile. So starting of a maybe pile here. I want to keep this, it's from NARS, it's the liquid blush. This is in the shade Orgasm. I really, really like this, so I'm going to keep that some Chanel blushes. So one is, this one is Rouge Profond, which is the, the brighter shades that I like. And then this one is called Rose Initiale and it's a, just a very pretty sort of neutral pink. So I think I'll keep them for now. Then I've got, in fact I'm definitely keeping this. I showed you the eyeshadow from this collection in my eyeshadow declutter video which I kept as well. This is like a sort of sunset bronzer on one side, blush on the other, and I just sort of swirl my brush around to get a sort of finished product from this and I really, really like it, so I'm definitely keeping that. Then I've got two Dior blushes here, um, so this one is 866 Rose Sublime, very, very pretty. As you can see, I have actually used it, not quite enough that I've worn out the imprint entirely, but I have but I have actually used this one. No, that is quite pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna keep the Dior blush. And then this one, 506 Parisian Sky, is is in the wrong place. I was like, Parisian Sky I think was an eyeshadow and I think I decluttered it. I don't think this is on my inventory anymore because I'm sure I decided to get rid of it. So yeah, this is what happens when you have too much makeup. I've already taken this off my inventory, I'm sure, so put that in the declutter pile. Where to go from here? Uh, oh, there's another creamy one, I think. This is from, yep. Okay, I think I was just talking and the camera wasn't on. Um, so I decided to get rid of this from Kevin Kwan. It's one of the, another cream blush. This is the Creamy Duo. It's duo number one. So I got a box from Kevin Kwan that had all the Blood Roses products in it. So this is a duo that sort of complements that shade, but yeah, the cream stuff just obviously turns quicker than the powder stuff and I've got more than enough powder stuff to last me a lifetime so I feel like let's get rid of the creams unless they're like something exceptional. And I'm also going to get rid of this which is one of the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. This is in the shade Praline. So I have basically discovered I am pretty much allergic to Bite Beauty. As lovely a shade as it actually is. It's uh, not for me, unfortunately. Do you know what? I think I might be ready to part with these two from Tarte. So this is Tarte Tipsy. I loved this for so long. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even getting transferred. Like, it's coming out of my finger, but it's not... I mean, I got these when you couldn't get Tarte in the UK and it was like such a thing to get it in America. And this is the shade Frisky. Oh, see, that's pretty. No, these are so old. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of these. We're such a cult product getting Tarte blushes for a while. That was like such a, an iconic thing for 
a while on YouTube. Circa like 2013 or something probably. Oh, another icon, Rimmel Santa Rose, who remembers that? This was one of the original sort of nude blushes. So for a while, absolutely everybody online had Santa Rose. Do you know that actually still feels pretty good, let's say. It's still quite pretty, but no, I probably, I've got the Clinique Nude Pop and I would use that in place of this, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. More old icons, sleek, I've got Pixie Pink, which is a really bright, sort of fun pink. Looks like that, which I've definitely kept enough bright, fun blushes, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then I've also got Sleek Rose Gold here, which was supposed to be like a dupe for NARS Orgasm for a while. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of that because I actually have NARS Orgasm here and I'm going to keep that one. So I'll add that to the keep pile. Two benefits here. Do you know what? I'm going to get rid of Sugar Bomb if it wants to open. That is what that one looks like. You know how old these are because Benefit now have these in packaging that's like like the lid flips up but it doesn't come off altogether um, and my lids come off so yeah this is a uh, very old and I'm ready to let go of it and then I've got Dallas and I actually love Dallas I feel like again it's really really old but I feel like Dallas is such a sort of flattering shade if you're pale you know it's got a warmth to it but it's not orangey on the skin I kind of want to keep it even though it's very very old. Okay I'm gonna put Dallas in the maybe pile. I feel like if I got rid of this it wouldn't be because I don't love the product because I actually do. It's just very old but I'm gonna put it with this elf palette here in the maybe pile. See I've got Dallas as well in this which is again very very old and it's got Dallas Coralista and Dandelion in it. It was one of the like airport exclusive sets that Benefit used to do and Again, it was such a thing to like get them when you went on holiday and whatever. And I'm trying to remember whether I had this first or the other Dallas first because I should probably just keep whatever one's newer. I really like Coralista as well. It's a really pretty... Yeah, I would like to keep that actually. So maybe I should just keep this palette and not keep... Do I have Coralista in this? No, I didn't. It was Raw Couture. I knew I had like something in this one that was a bit similar-ish, but not the same. So you've got California. Right, let's do... California's closer. Why am I saying Raw Couture? I'm... It's one of those... This is a sign that I don't know this makeup well enough. Like, I know what I had in my head, but I don't know which shade it actually is. But yeah, let's swatch California next to Coralista. Oh no, they're very different, actually. Okay, I feel like I want to keep, I feel like I just want to keep all of this, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to keep this palette, the Benefit Cheek Parade palette, and I'm going to keep this, which has the mini Dallas in it. Oh, do you know, I just, I want to keep all of that. I knew blush was going to be really hard. I knew that. Right, I think I just, I'm definitely keeping them, and Dallas is staying, the single Dallas will stay in the maybe pile for now. I'm keeping this from love the planet this was a gifted product just to disclaim that and it's their peach blush so they are a fully recyclable brand everything is totally natural um, and they're plastic free so if you're into sort of eco makeup this is a great brand to check out so yeah love the planet plastic free makeup made in the uk this is their peach blush and i'm definitely keeping that i'm going to keep this it's my burberry blush in the shade o2 just o2 um, I really like Burberry makeup, but it's not a very accessible brand. You can't really buy it in Scotland, so it's something that I only buy from when I'm in London. And I feel like, again, Burberry's been a bit strange. There's not been a lot of releases in anything recently. Um, but I really, really like this shade, so I'm going to, going to keep that for now. I've got NYX Bitten here, which I really, really loved for a really long time. It's really, really pretty. But I feel like maybe now I would reach for the Cola Pop from the Clinique palette that I got last Christmas over this. Let's just swatch that palette next to this, actually. Mm, actually, they're quite different. No, maybe I'll keep both. Not doing very well with this, am I? I think I'm just going to go wash my hands to make sure we're not swatching over other things and be back in a second. Have a, a look at my arm of blush before I go. I've decided to keep that Benefit palette. 
I've got this NARS palette and I'm going to be honest, like, I don't reach into it and I love this Exhibit E. I feel like it's a very specific look when you decide to, to use it. So, like, yeah, I mean, it is... It is bright red, but I love it in theory, but I think I'm just holding on to this whole palette because I love it in theory. The bottom three I like, but I feel like the other two, I've probably kept other blushes that are similar. Then I don't really ever use this one. This one's nice, but like, again, I've probably kept other things that are similar. I've got the highlight here as well, although, do you know, they still feel great despite the age of the palette. But no, I feel like I'm just holding on to this whole palette because I've got this shade. And I love the, I think I love the idea of owning this shade more than I love actually using this shade, if that makes sense. I'm gonna let this palette go. I've also got another NARS palette here. This is the NARS Stephen Klein one. Do you know what? I'm ready to let this palette go as well. Like, I feel like I, I've, I've got the NARS palette that I got in 2019, which I love. And I've got the Benefit palette, I feel like, yeah, I'm going to let this palette go. I feel like the good thing about letting this palette go as well is that I've got this huge bronzer. And I'm not a massive bronzer person, but I don't own a lot of individual bronzers. So all the bronzers on my inventory that pad it out tend to be bronzers that are in palettes that I didn't buy the palette for the bronzer. So I feel like sometimes bronzer looks like more of a problem on my inventory than it actually is. So I'll be able to mark that off. And then I think this is in under a contour as well. I did like this. Like, which is really just a face powder. But I just very much enjoyed it as a face powder. Um, I think it's meant to be a highlight. But as you can see on me, it just blends in really quite nicely. But yeah, ready to let go of the palette. I think I'm also just going to let go of these Max Factor blushes. Let's swatch them. I'm doing that thing where like, like I said at the start, there's nothing that I'm looking at going, I'm definitely ready to let go of you. Like, it's just, it's not, do I dislike you? It's do I love you as much as I love other things that I'm keeping? Okay, so this one here is Nude Mauve. Lavish Mauve. Alluring Rose. I feel like as well with Max Factor, I've got a bit of a, like, because Max Factor was sort of the original makeup artist brand and, like, so many of the sort of old Hollywood vintage movie stars that I love the look of would have used Max Factor, even though, like, these blushes are a relatively new, um, did I say that one was Alluring Rose, um, addition to the lineup, so I know they weren't actually running around with these blushes, but it just feels like a sort of link to... That sort of old Hollywood vintage glamour that I love through being Max Factor. But yeah, I don't really reach for them. No, I think I'm I'm going to let those four go. The four Max Factor blushes all going. And just like that, I'm going to need to clean my arm again. Okay, so this is what is left in the box. I am going to get rid of this. So this blush was in a gift with purchase. It's not something I actually picked out. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. See I love this but the same thing goes that it's a cream blush. This is one of the Steely Convertible Colours. This is the shade Gladiola. Very very pretty. See it's just one of those ones you can like really sheer it out or you can you can kind of work it up and I do very much enjoy it. I think I might break my cream rule and keep this one. I've got this Benefit Benetton here that I have kept the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. I mean, this is just a mini, but... Do you know what? That actually, again, still feels okay. Kind of tempted to, to keep that. Plus, it's a stain, which is always really good in, like, the height of summer, when I am oily AF. I do feel this could be something that would leave my collection through actually being finished at some point, which I can't really say for most of the rest of what I'm keeping, so... We'll keep that one. Okay, I've got KVD Lolita. Let's swatch that. Do you know what? I like that, but I think Colourpop definitely replaces that, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is another, like, such an icon, is Milani Luminoso, which I got in New York in 2016. And this is exactly what I was saying, like, because I've been on my no-buys and things for so long, I think I don't really realise how old certain things are in my collection. And that is a really, really pretty peach, but I've definitely, 
I've definitely kept peaches, so we're going to get rid of that one. Then the last palette that I've got here is from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collaboration. I really like that palette. I'm going to keep it. I feel like I should be getting rid of it, but I'm not. I'm keeping it. Right, let's swatch this. This is from the Seattle Olivia Palermo collection. And I'm doing that thing where, like, I really was a big fan of Olivia Palermo for a while. Um, I mean, like, I still enjoy her fashion choices, but I, I don't, like, follow what she's up to. Kind of, it's, it's, do you know what I mean? Like, like, I still think she dresses very well and I like her style, but I don't know if I'd really say I'm, like, a fan of her. Like, I couldn't really tell you much about her. But I visually enjoy her styling. But no, do you know what? I think I'm gonna gonna pass this on. And again, that's that's one that's got a bronzer in it, so I'll probably be knocking a bronzer off my inventory as well. Which is always a bonus. And that leaves me with a whole load of MAC blushes. And you know what? Off the top of my head, I want to save Frankly Scarlet, Fully Fuchsia, and Spring Sheen. There is Spring Sheen. A shimmery peach. Kind of standard really. Very, very pretty, so I'm going to save that one. Something special I really like, but again, it's a cream blush. Do this one in the back of my hand. I mean, it's actually still swatching all right, but um, it's about 100 years old, so I definitely shouldn't still have it, so we're going to get rid of it. Actually smells a bit strange, so definitely getting rid of it. So this is Full Fuchsia, which I actually, again, got in New York in 2016, but... Yeah, I mean, that, that's a fun blush. I'm keeping that one. I quite like a sort of dull look every so often just to like lean into like that really sort of bright pink. It's, um, it's something I do enjoy. Then Frankly Scarlet is right next to that. I love based on the name as well as the colour. It's It looks quite red here, but it's actually like all of these when you actually shear them out you know, they become really sort of pretty sort of winter walkie blushes. So definitely keeping that one. Then I've got a few more, so Prism. So, oh, so this is gingerly actually. Let's swatch it. That still feels really good actually. I was expecting most of these to be kind of dried up. I might keep gingerly. Then this is Prism. This was like one of my first ever MAC blushes. And I think this is really where my sort of enjoyment of nude blushes kind of started but yeah it's it's so old I'm barely even getting anything there so I'm gonna say goodbye to prism then we've got copper tone again that actually feels really nice and it's still still delivering but again I feel like Colourpop probably replaces that get rid of this one then I have got Tenderling. Oh, in fact, I'm telling a lie. I had Tenderling before I had Prism. That actually feels better than Prism does. Yeah, see, I really, really like this. Um, but yeah, I went through a huge stage of these neutral blushes. I say huge stage, like still in the huge stage, but yeah, Tenderling and Prism were the, the beginnings of that, but I feel like now I've got like Clinique Nude Pop, for example, and you know, the various other sort of nudey blushes that I've kept, so I think I'll say goodbye to Tenderling as well. See, they've discontinued this and that adds a layer to it when I'm like, but if I regret it, I can't repurchase it. But no, I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to stay strong. And then the last one I've got here is, oh, Stubborn. No, I want to keep Stubborn, definitely. Stubborn's a really, really fun sort of plummy one. I'm keeping Stubborn. Okay, so I knew this one was going to be a bit more difficult. I think as well the other thing about my blush is that because I put two blushes in last year's Project Pan, I've not been rotating my blushes quite as much and I don't feel maybe as familiar with them to know how they're performing because of that and I think that is, I'm really glad that I started Project Panning but I think that's something I maybe need to keep in mind is I need to pick my Project Pan items with leeway to still be rotating between the rest of my collection. I've just gone and used like makeup remover to take off everything which it has except for can you see like that Benetton is clinging on it will outlast the apocalypse these are the maybes which I kind of want to keep but let's let's count the definites and see what we're keeping so I've got one two three palettes so again we'll look at my inventory at the end but I think all of these will be listed as individual blushes on my inventory so it wouldn't just be three blushes that are counted because of this but 
I'm keeping those three palettes and for simplicity's sake we're just going to count palettes as one here and now. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so there's another palette which I've forgotten about, 13 for Dior blush, 14, 15, then my MAC blushes will say 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Right, so we've got 35 that we're definitely wanting to keep. This is what we're getting rid of. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we're getting rid of 27 and keeping 35. That's actually way better than I thought we'd done here. And you know what, I think, I feel like the fact they were never in the definite pile, there is enough in the definite pile that I don't need to be making space in the definite pile for things that are not definite. So 29 that we're actually getting rid of. So let's update the inventory and see where that leaves us. Okay, so inventory update time. I had taken this, I've just looked through my eyeshadows and I had taken that Dior Quint off. Um, so I obviously had already decluttered that and thought it had been passed on but it had ended up in with my blushes. So this doesn't count for anything because I've already taken it off my inventory. Then this Bite Beauty, because it's a multi-stick, it was actually on my inventory under lipsticks even though I was storing it in with blushes. So that is making it look like my lipsticks have come down by $24 so very nice with that one. So for the main bit this is the blush part of the declutter. So because the ones from palettes are on in individually that is looking like 42 blushes have left my collection today worth $606.92. Then in addition to that as I said $24 and one item off of my lipsticks. Also there was a contour product in one of the palettes so that's reduced my contours by 986 and a total of one item. Two bronzers were in the palettes worth 2586 and I also got to add on another two highlights to my highlighter declutter from earlier from the palettes so that added on two further highlights worth 986 and 983 altogether. So after my declutter I am left with 56 blushes in my collection worth $1163.16. I am now down to having two contour products worth $67 and five bronzers worth $68.16. And also as a result of today my highlights have come down so they have come down to a quantity of 20 and a value of $627.30 and then my lipsticks I have 108 lipsticks after taking off one today at a value of $2,645.62. Now I haven't finished doing my additions or my empties but for my makeup in November and December which is basically the last week of videos for you guys um, in terms of declutters, I have decluttered 117 items and those 117 items have been worth $2,730.09. I think that is me pretty much finished with decluttering for this year. Um, I feel like I need to go on and do my empties and some project pan updates and stuff. So I don't think there'll be any more decluttering until after the new year. But adding this week's work onto what I've decluttered earlier in this year it means that in the year of 2021 I have decluttered $4,424.62 worth of stuff um, and then these are my totals for added and used up at the moment but as I say I've got more Christmas things to add on so there's definitely going to be a lot more additions um, and I haven't done my last two months of empties so there hopefully will be some more used up but either way between the used and the decluttered it's definitely going to bring my totals down which I'm very excited about and then quantity wise I have decluttered 214 items this year used up 137 so far and added on 121 so again there's more to be added and hopefully more empties to take off but either way the decluttered is definitely between the decluttered and the used they're definitely going to be going 
in the right direction, which I'm very, very pleased about. But that is everything for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate it. Um, and if not, I hope you had a lovely day yesterday. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.